seen various forms of revival in the last 25 years. The 30s, the 40s, the 50s, even the 60s have been revived in various different ways. We've seen Ted's, Mods, Rockers, even Psychedelia make a comeback, sometimes more than once. But when a few weeks ago I started to hear that punk was reviving, I was very surprised, because I didn't even know it was dead. In 1979, punk clubs as such had vanished and punk venues faded away almost in direct proportion to Adam Ant's rise to glamour as a teeny idol. But last month, without much warning, the tribe opened on Tuesday nights in Leicester Square. Here, if you like Mohican haircuts and bondage trousers, you can pogo to progressive punk groups like Blood and Roses. This is their first single, which came out last week. It's just punk in, in a sort of 76 sense, it's punk in an 83 sense, be part of it. Not negative, destroying, but, but act and create, be, feel optimistic and positive about the future. But we want people to see the band, not just come down because it's a club and just to doss around and pose, be looked at, be seen by other people, their dress and all that shit. Because I think that's, that's what happens in a lot of clubs today, you know, it's, Wim it's McDonald's entertainment in places like the Palace, and we want people to come down here be the club, that's what we really want, the people in it to be the club. Uh, it's more down to earth, don't get so many people posing around the place, so a little more at ease here. You didn't have a chance to be in the original thing, and this is your yeah, chance to... Yeah, I was about 12 years old at the time, and in Italy you don't hear about these things until 10 years later, yeah. so... You know, obviously their dress is different, their attitudes are slightly different, and the music taste is slightly different, but I think they've continued in the same way. To me, it's a welcome relief from the glossy nostalgia of Blitz Kids and new romantic glamour. All more the expression of a desperate fashion world than the explosion of the zeitgeist. Now sweaty old punk is back, and as in 1976, when the Sex Pistols became the ferret at the throat of that frightened rabbit, the music business, the reasons are chiefly boredom with the current scene. For, for the number of bands that are sort of coming out onto the scene is uh, it's a question of necessity as well as the anger that they're feeling through the poverty and, and sort of being pissed off with their general situations. It's a kind of way out, isn't it? I mean, you yeah. feel, you know, I mean, well, my personal feeling is that, you know, it's the only thing I've got to be able to get me out of, of, of complete sort of lassitude and boredom. You know, it gives me an object, you know, an object to, to go for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily money and riches, but, you know, some kind of... Focus. Uh, yeah, so right. Yeah. Yeah. What musicians do you write? <laughs> I mean, who do you think is a good singer? I don't. <laughs> I don't have any heroes. <laughs> They're all useless. Well, there's no bands around, is there? None. None that are accessible. Well, before you... Like, Unless you pay a fiver to see them, and then you can't see them. And what sort of people kind of see you in the beginning? I don't know, just bored people. Bored out their brains with hippies. <laughs> What's this thing you've got against hippies? They're complacent. You were just attacking Top of the Pops and the sort of bands that are on there. What Do you think they're relevant to the kids 16, 17? Of course they're not. Relevant to their mums and dads, but that's about all. What about names like Rod Stewart? What about him? Mums and dads, yeah. He's all round, isn't he? All round entertainment. He's an old f Rod Stewart gets up there and starts 
like going on with a string orchestra, you know what I mean? It's not what you feel like. So you've got to have some music what you feel like. Otherwise you go balmy, don't you? I think their attitudes really stink. Yeah, they don't care about the music. They don't care about the music. They don't care about the music. They don't care the Sex Pistols say they hate hippies, everything they stand for, and the hippies what, are what went wrong with music. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's right. I think that's where the complexities came in, you know? And people thought, oh, we better buy our mood synthesizer, or we'll get caught out, you know? Like, maybe... If there's any around, they should, like, you know, jump into action immediately. Because, you know... I suppose you ain't there for them. They had too much dope. Yeah. Lying on the floor and looking at the ceiling. But it's another generation to yours. Yeah, one that went wrong. Groups like the Sex Pistols and the Clash felt that what was going on then was nothing less than a revolution. Young people were rescuing pop music and taking it out of the hands of an older generation. As I said, you know, the kids took over and I was a kid then. I mean, I'm sort of pushing on a bit now, I suppose. I mean comparison with the kids are doing things now, if any are doing anything of any consequence. Um, yeah, it was just to say, like, I'm here, and this, you know, I'm going to go about things in my own way and not be dictated to by, you know, like the Rod Stewarts and people who were like the pop moguls and stuff who aren't really in touch with what was going on. I mean, it was, it was a street kind of thing, you know. Yeah. Did you realise what you were starting then? Yeah, actually. When you got something good, you know that you got it. I mean, you, f you feel a confidence, all right, an inner confidence. People like John Savage, now a journalist, saw the Pistols as the expression of all their frustrations with music and politics and were inspired to self-expression. I, I felt so energised and so excited at the time that I wanted to do something myself. And the thing that I really wanted to do was write. I never wanted to be in a rock group. That was never a particularly viable option. And the only other thing to do at the, at the time was to write, and, and also I was interested in, in graphics and visuals. So um, I was working at the time, and in my lunch hours, and any time I could sneak away, I stuck together.